for flash in particular, there are essentially three grades of flash right now. SLC-based flash, even for, never mind just for SSDs, just pure flash combos. SLC-based flash, MLC-based flash in terms of enterprise grade and then consumer grade MLC. The consumer grade MLC is the cheap, dirt cheap consumer stuff. And why it's cheap is high capacity, low endurance. It wears out faster. And so that stack I drew about minim that minimizing the right amplification, and minimizing the wear, if you don't do that, you can't ship the cheapest form of flash because there's no way unmodified systems will allow those flash devices to have any useful lifetime in an enterprise environment. And that, so, so yes, we'll use any person's flash. What we're in hot pursuit of is basically shipping the cheapest forms of flash possible by a flash-centered design that basically in increases the lifetime and endurance by not wasting precious write cycles of those SSDs. We can ship any SSDs, but we're partnering with certain SSD vendors to make sure that we have high, qu high quality flash translation layers and also putting some modifications in for us to make them work better for our application and our storage okay, so We're already shipping what we call Enterprise MLC. Enterprise MLC is being shipped in the E-Series and on tap, and we provide it with the same warranties as spinning disk. So customer expectation, I believe, around, around flash systems is to have similar warranty time, lifetime, which is somewhat related to lease periods and stuff, right? People, people have a technology lifetime around their storage system. So there's an expectation that SSDs should be similar to HDDs. This is kind of legacy. So, you know, but that's, that is fundamentally how customers are viewing this. Customers are not ready to basically change all of their processes and environmentals just because SSDs are coming in because they're still going to be mostly managing spinning disk systems. Flash will be a small portion of their overall storage flow, okay? But, to go to cheaper and cheaper flash and some of the proposals being made for higher capacity, higher density, lower endurance flash, the question arises, can, do you want to run them under five year warranty periods? Do you want to run them to two or three year warranty periods where your actual length of time that the SSD runs is completely dependent on your work urging that essentially the interesting property they have is sequential I.O. and random I.O. are completely the same. Um, there is no um, penalty for random I.O. with solid state storage. That is point one. That's the big customer value. The big problem to solve is Flash is the current commodity solid state solution out there and it has an annoying property that it wears out. So, First, you have to come up with a design that basically fully exploits solid state properties of random I.O. and sequential I.O. or a wash and ultra low latency. That's the latency envelope side. That's the solid, that's the solid state promise, okay? The flash problem to be solved is don't wear it out. Do everything you can to minimize wearing flash, which by the way also minimizes I.O. to the solid state system too, so it makes the higher system overall higher performance. But that monomaniacal attack on flash wearing is fundamental to the work we're doing. But it, and it, but it also improves overall performance. Okay? Right. The best thing you can possibly do is to only write unique user data to the flash device once. That would be the total optimal flash system. And what does that mean? So you're deduplicating, and what else you want? What else you want to do is compression. So you write less. So you take deduplicated data, compress it down, minimizing the number of flash points you touch, and never, ever, ever make another copy of it. So, so um, basically, shared read-only snapshots. You are not going to have copy-out snapshots here. We have we have this in Waffle and on tap already. You just never, ever, ever create another copy of that data because if you do, you just created another write, and that other write is wearing the flash out. So minimizing write, and then but but you have to keep in mind that real systems have to have protection against component failure. So we're doing a variation, a derivative of our RAID DP algorithm, our dual parity RAID, uh, double disk protection kind of thing. We're doing a variation on it that minimizes the parity updates. Because so so you have the one user write going out, right? And, hold on, one user right going out, and then you need the protection of the parity rights going out. 
Essentially, we're doing log structured writing so that when you write a stripe out, you write the parity once. You don't write this block, update parity, write this block, update the same parity, write this block, update the same parity. If you did that, you just, you just had a write amplification of a factor of two because you keep writing another block for every block you write. So log structured, full stripe writing is critical towards the design of it. We already do that in Waffle. I would say we've gotten a little bit insane about our ability to do full stripe writing because the write problem is so profoundly pathological for Flash.